main diabetes and arthritis were the main things that I would be dealing with at the beginning because I dealt with mostly older people. And those, those are the main things. They either have got the metabolic syndrome, which is, you know, diabetes and high blood pressure and high blood cholesterol and they're overweight and stuff. And you've got the arthritis category, arthritis, osteoporosis, stiffness, cramping, various physical disabilities. Those are the two major categories of problems. So I would use Sweeties a lot. Sweet I can say something about that. Like we tried the plant-derived minerals in, in apple juice, watered down apple juice, and it enhanced the flavor just from, it tastes more like apple juice, like even better. Really? Yeah. It tastes really good with apple juice. <laughs> and I also use it, uh, I put it in my spray bottle and I spray my plants with it and they love it. Awesome. Put them on a the proper dose. Just four caps for 100 pounds per day. Works very well. Taper them down as they start to get better. Awesome. Didn't need to do very much for many, many diabetics other than that. Still to this day. <clears throat> so it is important, but it's not something that we all need forever, every day kind of thing. If it's not happening, add the sweeties. But I usually start with the sweeties after they're done the digestion protocol. Selenium, probably one of the most important products we have. And this is also one of the products where I could say pretty confidently that ours works a lot better than the normal ones that are out there. Now, almost everyone in the industry uses selenomethionine, right, which is the amino acid form took me forever to learn how to say that and remember it's lenomethionine. But uh, just on its own, it doesn't work very well. And there's mixed results, mixed results. Some people, a lot of people are taking selenium for pretty serious reasons. So we usually do have blood work. A lot of people take the proper dose in quotes, proper dose of other products, like 400 micrograms per day. In the, or, or two, 400, some of them are more, and it's still not raising in their blood. Or they get high selenium in the blood, which can happen. Selenium is actually possible to be toxic. So you don't need the full dose forever. Like if that three caps per 100 pounds, that's really at the start. And then the rest of us can cycle it or taper it down. I've been cycling it for several years, mostly just for cost reasons, because adding, you know, I got tons of different extras in my program too. I'm not on all of them all the time. I'll cycle them or take uh, one cap for a while or two cap for a while. If I run out for a while, when I reintroduce it, I'll be on three caps for a while because your blood should be saturated after a while and you shouldn't need the full dose. But a lot of them are very cheap, but they, they don't always work so well. And ours is not very expensive. It's also not very cheap. But I do think having all these extras in it really does make the difference. Uh, the zinc, the copper, a little tiny bit of copper, but it makes all the difference. An extra dose of the chromium, which is also in the sweeties, but... It's pretty great here because we're not even usually considering these extras, but I do think that that and this this herbal blend here is what makes it a heck of a lot more absorbable. Even got a bit of the vanadium in there as well, so it should help with the blood sugar at the same time. That's not a negligible dose of that chromium there. That's that's a pretty good dose, and that's per capsule. Let's just reference that with sweeties. Usually they have a digestion problem of some kind. Most people with varicose veins have an obvious digestion problem, even if they're skinny. So remember, just as always. Just what what about if, um, so my sister, she got pregnant. She, she didn't gain a lot of weight, but like, I think in the fifth month, she started having very bad varicose veins. You could be lucky then. You could just be mineral deficient. Hmm. Yeah, we do both. It's she is in the program. She she is in the program, and I think she talks to you. But I don't think she've mentioned that because she ha she has more serious problems. But I've noticed her legs are just like crazy, and if you know, it's... more get big like a marble. You can mm -hmm. put a bracelet around it, and uh, it can okay. help. It can help. Again, anecdotal here. We don't have double blind studies, but mm -hmm. it's five bucks or something for a copper bracelet or free for a wire. So it's worth okay. It's worth doing. But it's also worth getting more copper in with the selenium. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. Yeah, treat varicose seriously. I never say that to the customer, that whole thing like you could die of an aneurysm or so. I don't, we don't sell based on fear, but.
but it's in the back of my mind that this is not a small problem. This is yeah, but sometimes they think it's just oh, you know, I wear pants all the time. I don't, you know, really care about that. Yeah, or they say, oh, I'll just get them lasered off. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. it doesn't yeah. fix the deficiency at all. And sometimes continued use, like the microbiome, if they have a prostate problem or something, keep them on the microbiome for a while. Anything in that lower region, and if it's serious. All right, finally, I, I don't think I could complete this uh, list without the cardio products, the, card uh, the circulation products, we call them. Because although these are not everyday products, not everybody comes in with an obvious cardio problem, like people on dialysis, people who have gangrene, you know, serious cases like this. It's not everybody. Uh, people have had strokes and stuff, you know, all kinds of reasons we want to speed up the circulation. But when those people come in, th this is key. These are key. And we've talked about this before. Wallach pretty much always uses the Ultimate Daily Classic tablets. For many years, the, the this was not available in Canada. It is now. So uh, I, I didn't use it. We'd have to smuggle it in from Detroit. And we'd have a few, like our our group would have a few. We'd make some calls. Hey, you got any Daily Classic in the other countries? Right? So now that's kind of at nauseum about that. Mm -hmm. And I just have it copy and pasted now. Okay. Use the flush. So I, I, I know that you do the flush and we've talked about the flush. What is the ultimate goal for the vitamin C flush? For them is it to just need to less and less? For what? For them to need less and less of the vitamin. Oh, so you're basically topping up their vitamin C like you do with the salt flush. Yeah, the point of the C flush is to get their maximum dose. Okay. Which gives them diarrhea. Does it? Can and you always say. You always say absorbic acid. What if um the the one that we happen to have personally is a uh it's a delayed it's a how what's it called? I'm my mind is like drawing a blank, but it's basically time where release. yeah, time thank you, timed release. It's a timed release, one gram. That won't produce the same results for a flush, correct? It won't. Okay. It's not a big enough dose. <clears throat> Uh, you'd have to take like eight of them at once and if it's time release yeah i just don't know how that's going to work it might cause diarrhea if you take eight of them but it's um it's not as easy to gauge as the vitamin c flush vitamin c okay. flush it's with with ascorbic acid it, it's pretty immediate once they hit their dose they're running to the bathroom doesn't have to be and does um longevity even carry that we don't it's one of those things that's too cheap Okay. Um, money to be made in it's like 20 bucks a pound or less yeah i'm sure you've said that i'm sorry yeah so ascorbic acid by itself works best this is okay. for short term this is just the vitamin c flush or if you get sick or something you just want to boost it long term you are better with a whole food blend which is what we do in tangy and ultimate classic right so we have all the other plant components that are supposed to come with the vitamin c if anybody has uh, objections to vitamin C, like ascorbic acid, that's what they say. Oh, it needs to be in the whole food version. It's true. It's best long term to be in a whole foods version. That's why we have whole foods based products. These multis that we have. That's the breakthrough of those products, by the way, that they use whole food components. I really don't know why they would say not to put somebody on iodine mm -hmm. unless it's just a medical monopoly fear tactic. If if you Google iodine, like Google's iodine, it says like if if they have heart problems, you can't you know give them iodine. And I was like, okay, this. The heart needs iodine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that shouldn't be a problem. The heart needs the thyroid to regulate itself too. So I think I mm -hmm. wonder if that's more along the lines of how, because we're not doctors, we're not allowed to treat. Because mm -hmm. we're not doctors, we're not allowed to recommend that they go off of their prescription medications and blah, blah, blah. I'm assuming mm -hmm. that's kind of where that originates. I, I should not eat vegetables. They'll probably scratch their head and say, whoops. <laughs> they don't think about these things. Yeah, they just repeat things for decades. Okay. I, I don't know. 